Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel ClickQ Enthusiast. I am Abhishek, a ClickQ learner, and in this video, I will talk about the Mako chart. So, this Mako chart is very similar to a stack bar chart, but it has an additional measurement which is the width, and that's why it is a great way to display breakdowns in ratio or in actual amounts. So, let's see the data that we will utilize for the creation of Mako chart here. So for example, uh, before I start, this is basically a dummy data which I created for um, for this Mako chart. And uh, here by continent or regions, I'm showing the education percentages. So let's quickly go to this blank space, right click here and go to initiate object and the chart. All right, so we have this Mako chart option. We will click on this macro chart option and click next and uh, then we will use the the education and then the continent region and we'll click next and we will just sum the these percentages so let's sum this and uh, percentage all right okay Let's give this label as macro chart. So let's click finish and see how it is coming. All right. So here is our macro chart. So as you can see, this is similar to a stack bar chart, which I have shown in my uh, earlier videos. But here you can see based on the category, the education category the width is either big or less so that tells uh, how the education a type of education is spread it across between these regions or continents so this is a very great way uh, you know to visualize uh, you know this kind of data where you want uh, you know to have it on a stack bar chart but their width should be according to their spread in that particular category so so for example we have a very good spread of history in these uh, different continents and regions and we we can also see that in north america we have the biggest spread which is 10 percent and then we have a middle east and then you know rest of the regions and similarly here you know the spread of accounting is very less which is four percent and in different regions uh, how it is spread across so for these kind of data if you find uh, in your day-to-day -day requirements you can utilize uh, the macro chart for uh, visualizing the information and press your management so this is pretty much all but uh, before I finish this video, let's uh, quickly see how we can display the values. So we are showing this information, but suppose uh, we also want to display these data points just for the sake of displaying. Uh, we can go into properties and uh, click on in the expression tab. We have again this option value on data points. Click apply. So for now it is coming zero 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 everywhere, but let's go into the um, presentation and plot value inside segments. Let's click apply and OK. So you see this, uh, they are showing you the information for this particular segment. So that will help you in uh, visualizing the information. However, when you hover your mouse over any of the uh, this stack then uh, or the section then it will clearly show you uh, what is the percentage and all so this is how you can utilize uh, this kind of data and visualize in a macro chart hope you will find this video useful and uh, I will meet you in the next video with a new chart till then bye bye